Hey, hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss how to write a Java program for finding factorial of a given number. So let's try to understand first what is factorial for a given number. And after that, we'll write a simple Java program for the same. So factorial of a given number. So let's say we have a number five and factorial is denoted by this notation. And uh, if we would if we would like to find the factorial of five, so it, it would be five into four into three into two into one and it will be equal to one twenty. So you can multiply and calculate, right? Which means as you notice in this pattern, the number is keep on decreasing five, four, three, two, one, or I would say one into two into three into four into five. Either way, multiplication should be 120 for factorial 5. Same way, let's say we want to find the factorial of 4. So its its uh, factorial should be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and it should be equal to 24. Right? So factorial of 4 is 4, 3, 2, 1. 24 or I should multiply 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 you can read from left to right or right to left right same way if you want to calculate factorial of 3 it should be 3 into 2 into 1 and it should be equal to 6 pretty simple and same way you can calculate factorial of any number n for example then it should be n into then n minus 1 into so on right i hope you have understood what exactly factorial is and now let's see the demo now how we can write a simple java program to get the factorial of a given number right so let's see the demo so i have created simple java class factorial and within that class i have a public static void main right let's say i would like to find factorial of number n is equal to 5 and n is configurable which means i can change the value of n for the time being i have taken n is equal to 5 which which means i would like to calculate factorial for 5 and this n variable is configurable if I change the value of n our program should give the output accordingly now so I'll take one variable in fact is equal to 1 I'll initialize initially with 1 these two variables nothing rocket science nothing much complex so far I have taken I have declared two variables and initialized them with 5 and 1 right now I'll use simple for loop int i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus so this will this for loop will iterate it will start from i is equal to 1 and it will continue till i reaches n n is nothing but the number for which we would like to calculate the factorial next line should be fact is equal to fact into i that's it we are done this will give us the factorial the logic is fact is equal to fact into i i initially fact will have value 1 1 into 1 will give, will give us 1 the value of i will increase it will go to 2 then we will get 2 into 1 and the value of i keeps on increasing and we will keep on multiplying the number with the previous number which means the fact which means we are trying to achieve this 5 4 3 2 1 this thing which we would like to achieve and that's why we have given fact is equal to fact into i and at the end i'll print system dot out dot println and 
salen second I'll write the factorial factorial of let's say n is equal to fact because fact will contain the result that's it so this is a simple code so what I'll do now I'll execute this program we'll see the output and uh, I'll one more time I'll explain what I have done to write this factorial program so let's run this program and see the output we are trying to find the factorial of 5 which we are expecting it to be 120 here you go the factorial of 5 is 120 we have got the output let's try to change the variable 5 to let's say 4 and this time we should get let's see from our initial discussion 24 should be the output so the value of n I have changed right and I will rerun the program this time it should give the factorial of 4 is 24 which is correct same way uh, it's up to us we can keep the value of n is equal to 7 any number our program is now dynamic so it will give us the factorial of 7 which is 5040 same way we can get the factorial of 3 let's say which is simple to calculate 3 into 2 into 1 which should be 6 pretty simple the factorial of 3 is 6 perfect which means our program is working so what essentially I have done is in the main method I have initialized two variables one n I mean the number for which we want to calculate factorial and one initial one variable fact is equal to one which is a kind of multiplier and this variable fact will store the final result right and because we are printing this fact variable at the end so to start with I have initialized okay let's say factorial is 1 and then within the for loop I am keep on multiplying this fact variable with these numbers which are getting incremented within the for loop fact is equal to fact into y right so this is the main logic fact is equal to fact into y which gives us the factorial of any number the only thing we need to change is the value of n and accordingly we will get the output right so this is the simple program of finding the factorial of a given number right that's what we wanted to discuss in this session today right thank you so much for watching bye bye